Hi guys, I'm Truffman from Overclocking TV and we are in Cambridge with the, the last two contestants for the one versus one death match. Uh, on my right, I have uh, Cuddy, Huddy, 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 that's that's a bit, uh, yeah, Huddy. <laughs> with a H. <laughs> <laughs> and on my left, I have uh, Kitfit1. Yeah. yeah, perfect. So thank you guys for being with us. Uh, you were the last one to compete against uh, each other. Yep. Actually, you did compete one after the other because one of the one of the yeah, main board, board yeah, motherboard died. Yeah. Um, but overall, uh, how was it for the for the hour of competition? Uh, well, it was my first time actually in the uh, uh, competition. Um, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, it was um, it was quite fast paced. Uh, the hour went really quick. Uh, the last sort of ten minutes. Um, you know, it was felt very competitive. Uh, not so much the first half hour. I think you felt a little bit confident that you had time, uh, but that soon went. And I uh, say so the last three minutes, you just wanted to get those final, final pieces of tweaking just to get that last benchmark running as that, that hour elapsed. But uh, no, I think overall it was a good experience, lots of fun, which I think is the main thing. And yeah, things have been learned. Uh, actually, when did you uh, produce your best score? Uh, the first half or the second half? Um, it came quite late. I think we had sort of problems with the, uh, the the CPU was getting too cold. Uh, so uh, yeah, I think we had to just keep heating the uh, the, the pot up a little bit. But um, I think once we got going, we, we knew where the sweet spot was for the heat. Uh, we got going, but I think it was a little bit too late. I think we got really going about say about the quarter of an hour to go mark, um, and I think we got our mice score thirteen twenty four around about sort of uh, about. 15 minutes to go, um, a few minor tweaks, but unfortunately we couldn't get another score in, uh, in in the time that was allowed. Perfect. So actually, in the final score, you uh, I think that you lost this okay, uh, this yeah, battle. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that sounds a familiar <laughs> thing for me. Yep, <laughs> taking up the rear, as they say. <laughs> I know someone that is quite happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it doesn't help when someone pulls my chair away. Did <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry for that. Yeah, I, I did push back the chair, and he was expecting the chair to be back and just fall on the ground. Sorry yeah, for that. No, so I gave everyone a laugh. <laughs> so you're not, you're not, no, 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 no. <laughs> so. Um, Fit kit, that's that's right. Fit kit one. Kit fit, kit fit one. Damn it. Uh, so kit fit one. You, how was it for you the the hour, the hour of competition? As he said, it went like a rocket. <laughs> uh, it was bloody good fun. I, I've actually benched quite a lot, but I've never enjoyed a competitive bench as much as this one. Even though I didn't have anyone opposite me at the time because I, I had to do it on my own, obviously, because I lost the motherboard. But. Uh, I learned a lot because it's the first time I've ever benched on that particular platform. So, and in fact, it's the first competitive bench I've done in probably three or four years. So that's so, a lot of uh, first first time things. That a lot uh, of first for me, even though I've been benching for donkey's years, it, there was a lot of firsts involved in that, and I, I really enjoyed it. I think we all did, and I'd recommend anyone to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what, however old you are, however young you are, yeah, it doesn't right, really matter. You know, that's the best marketing and even exactly. if you used to bench and uh, never did competitive benching that's the one thing like competitive benching changed the rules uh, yeah. it changed completely yeah, the way you behave on doesn't, that doesn't matter what how old you are how young you are how experienced you are because I've been doing it for donkey's years and the bloke that won today actually got the highest score was never benched before <laughs> so you know you can't say any more than that can you it's a lot of it's down to CPUs and luck, and but it always has been and always will be. So I had a crap CPU, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> and a crap motherboard, yeah. <laughs> Actually, what was your final score? Uh, 1328, I think. And yeah. you had like 1324. Yeah, four yeah. points between us. Yeah, yeah there's four points between us, yeah. yeah. Just four points between you guys. Um, what would be your best souvenir that you're going to have from this event? Best thing I can come away with, obviously you make friends, you meet new benchers, even if you've been doing it a long time, you always meet new people, and that's what you take away from it. Next time you meet them, um, you know, you, and you bench together and bench competitively, you enjoy it even more, and you always do. That's what I've found over the years of doing it anyway. You know, you, the more you bench with other people, the more you enjoy it, and the more you want to do it on your own as well. <laughs> Very good. And you, what would be your best uh, souvenir for that one? Well, I think experience. I mean, the thing is of overclocking, it's uh, one of the key things about overclocking itself is, uh, is confidence. 
and um, I think a lot of people shy away from overclocking because of the confidence and I think what this has done for me personally today is given me the confidence, confidence to go forward um, yeah I've done overclocking in the past I normally stick to stable overclocks which I can run on machines so I can game on but I've never really gone above that because I know that uh, you know there's a limited risk there of damage in my own machine which obviously I use uh, quite frequently but to go beyond that um, does take a, that extra step of confidence and I think what this um, event does is you bring people in with you to give you that confidence uh, certainly so yeah I think the confidence factor yeah, and then you get train them and even for the amateur that never use LN2 you can train them for that Absolutely, yeah. well thank you guys for being with us no, uh, I hope that you're not going to fight after that for four points no, no, uh, exactly. <laughs> four points is never worth fighting over no. maybe five <laughs> no, cool. well thank you guys uh, thank you guys for watching we're going to be there tomorrow again uh, all day on Sunday and if you want to watch more videos you can follow find us on YouTube youtube.com forward slash overclocking TV I'm Truthman signing off until then keep pushing it